and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. You're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're gonna to show you how science shows inversion table, decompression, reduced surgery, 55 by 55%. This is quite a claim, Brad. Right, well, it's in the I study. I hope you can back it up. Yeah, we're gonna talk about how they did this. And uh, we have you know, this study as well as personal and patient experience that uh, also supports this. And by the way, if you're new to our channel, Sorry. please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload it every day. And in somewhat of a timely manner, we're actually doing a cool giveaway. If you go to bobandbrad.com, go to the giveaway section, we're giving away a teeter inversion table. Right. So these are really nice yeah, inversion tables. They, they are extremely well made and gr top quality. If you're going to invert, I would recommend this yeah, one. Yeah, for uh, sure. Yeah, well, we'll link down below. Uh, go to Twitter or Instagram if you want a 60-second version of our program every day. You can also go to Facebook um, if you're a Facebook person, yeah. and you, it'll be pinned to the top of the page as a contest. Oh, so you'll be able to absolutely. apply through that method, too. All right. So, Bob, uh, if you've got a herniated disc, Okay, and that's what Ball this or herniated disc. That's what this study was done on. It was actually done on uh, all the patients had uh, just one uh, herniated or bulging disc. They one had this level. Part, what? At one level. At one level, saying. correct. Uh, with the symptoms down the leg, et cetera, the typical uh, sciatica symptoms. Uh, they start out with 22 patients. Actually, three of them did drop out for uh, various reasons. That's pretty typical in studies. They don't get 100% right. follow through, but that's normal, like I said. But anyways. They went through this, and each group, each of them had therapy, uh, physical therapy exercises they did, and the one group had the inversion table protocol that will in get addition, into, in addition to, to, to the exercise therapy. So this right. was at Newcastle University, right? New Zealand or Australia? Or no, what? I think it's the UK. UK. Yeah. Okay. And uh, United Kingdom. There you go. So, okay. and the the group that did not use the inversion table. 78% of them did have surgery. Wow. You got to remember all these people were, they were going to have surgery. All of them were slated to have surgery. Right. Yeah. So, you know. Headed down that path. Right. So 78% of them did that didn't use the inversion table. And the people that did, only 23% of them had surgery. Wow. So that's quite a difference. That's 55% um, difference. That's 55% difference. And I, I'm going to give you an anecdotal story. There so you my go. neighbor, I saw him quite a few well, it's probably been over a year ago, and he sure. was having sciatica. And uh, I had showed him some things, and I, I had recommended to him to try to tough it out if he could not have surgery, because I said the, the discs often get reabsorbed. Yep. Uh, there's, there's a mechanism by that way that happens. He listened to me to some extent, and he actually went not on my advice. He went and got a teeter. <laughs> sure. And I was just talking to him at the Christmas party, and he goes. I got a teeter, and you know my doctor had said the same thing. Could, the disc could get reabsorbed, and I've been using the teeter. He uses it a couple times a day. Sure. And he he's got a little bit of pain here yet, but but it's almost all gone. Right. So there you go. Yeah. And, yeah. and I've had patients that use them regularly. I've used one when I had sciatica, as a big part of uh, your pain management. Right. right. Exactly for my spondylolisthesis. So, anyways. Uh, we do want to go on to one thing. If you're going to use one, you haven't used one, uh, you really make sure you talk to your doctor about it. There are some conditions, uh, for example, if you have glaucoma. Yeah, if you, have uh, you can't have increased eye pressure. Right, exactly. Uh, blood pressure could be a, yeah, a variable in it. Yeah, blood pressure. Yep. And there may be a few other things, but so it's not good for everyone. No. So make sure that it will fit for you. Get it cleared with your doctor. Right. Uh, the next thing is use a good, a good product. I really like these teeters. Um, and the thing that, you know, Roger Teeter is the, the he's founder the, of it. The founder of it. We don't know if. All right, we got to bring this point up because okay, his name Roger. is Teeter, like Teeter Totter, yep. which seems like the perfect name for this. And are you telling me that he was born with the name Teeter and or that he invented this product? He, yeah. Or did he change his yeah. name? Uh, he, I have a feeling he was born with it. He just. He just seems like that kind of guy. He wouldn't do that. Well, he's 80 years old and still yeah. surfing. Water skiing. Water skiing. Okay, surfing. I thought surfing. Well, I don't maybe know. he's doing that too. I don't know. But uh, anyways, so it's a good product. 
All right. So what we do want to talk about is adjustment. If you're going to use it, do not think you're going to just buy one of these, uh, get on it, and start doing your treatment right away. It takes some time uh, to put it together properly, look at the videos and the instructions, and make sure you adjust it properly. I'm not going to go through it very detailed in this video. This one's already adjusted for me. One more click. There we go. Did, and, now, Alex put this together, did he, Liz? Did you say it? it was pretty easy, he said. Yeah. So. Yeah, it, it is. It's pre-assembled for a good part of it. Sure. But, yeah. So you should be able to for sure be very comfortable in the control of where your in incline is. So basically you just leaned back. Right. And that started push you, pushing you back into the inversion position. Right. So just by inverted. moving your hands this way, I'm starting to tilt more. If I go like this, if I say I'm not ready for it, all I need to do is do this. You should feel in complete control because if you're not relaxed doing this, it's not going to be near as effective. Yeah, you got to have the muscles relaxed so they can right. come apart, right. basically. So let's talk a little about the mechanics, why this works for sciatica. So what I'm doing is I'm going back. Now the weight of my trunk and my arms and my head are going to slide on the smooth table of this inversion table, which is another good benefit of this table. And that's going to put traction through my lumbar spine. I don't know, if Bob, if you want to show on that spine. Do we have a spine? Yeah, we have a spine right yeah, here. Yeah, we've got the whole spine. So you're going to go ahead and... This is where the decompression part of the title or of inversion So Brad, would be in this position right here. If you look at uh, maybe these two bones right here, Mike, if I pull, well, here, you can see on this one. Can you see how they're pulling up apart a little bit? You know, and that's basically what's happening there on an anatomical level. He, those are pulling apart. And sometimes they say there's almost a centrifugal force on the disc helping pull, suck it back in. It's almost like a vacuum cleaner. Right. Well, in. that's what I, I would refer to like a vacuum, bringing that right. disc back in where it belongs. And the key part is when you're actually doing this, learn to relax your core. And I'm going to go back. I've got this locked out at 60 degrees. I like to keep it at 60 degrees when I invert it. Some people will go to a complete inversion. I'm not a big proponent of that, but... Um, and if you want to set th it for less than that, you can set it for less than that right. and, and go right. back. You're going to start out at 20 to 30. If you invert the first day at, at like this for five minutes like I did, I ended up with a headache all night that night. And then I realized... Too yeah, much you too went soon. Full, you went full inversion for a, well um, yeah i didn't go full i was uh, i was about like this even 20 to 30 degrees is what he's saying not 20 to 30 right. minutes and you're only going to go for a couple oh i'm minutes. sorry did i say minutes no you said 20 to 30 so <laughs> oh, okay i'm sorry yeah be so, clear so, one to two minutes yeah i'd start off with so this is about so. 20 to 30 i'll go back to 60 um and, and this adjusts that's why i'm bouncing there but i can quit that there so i'm going to relax those core muscles and you'll feel the traction on your spine. Now, if you have sciatica, you've got the numbness, the pain going down the leg. When you get back here, you want to monitor that lo the location of your symptoms closely. If the symptoms and the pain seem like they're going away in your foot, but they're a little worse maybe in the thigh or the buttock, that's a good sign, okay? We want the symptoms or the pain to come back in a manner that it goes away from the foot or distally, we call it, and it works its way back up towards the back, the buttock first and then into the center of the back. So the pain kind of retreats, but it starts on the furthest most point first. Right. So yeah, if you have symptoms in the toes and feet, you want that to go away first, this to go away next, this the way to go, you know, finally, right. and, and eventually it'll all go away. I, and the other extreme is if the the or let's say the back pain gets notably better it's like oh well, my back pain is better but your foot starts getting more numb and more symptoms there that is not a good situation yeah, that's a bad sign you do not want to continue you, you're right. either going too much or you need to reposition or you know do something different that's yeah. not good yeah that's not what you want to right. see in so. my case i went on it my legs start feeling better clearly um Although I did invert too long, too fast, uh, but I, I eventually got back to, you know, usually I went about three minutes and I'm comfortable here. I don't know how many minutes I've been here so far. Quite a few. Yeah. I'm going to gently bring myself up. And when you get done inverting, you're not going to want to get up and just bound out of this thing. I, I'd always like to go to this position for a minute or so and then work yourself up. 
you want the blood pressure to equi uh, equalize and that you're not going to get a little hypotensive episode where your blood rushes down. And, right, you know, and then you get dizzy, dizzy and, and have fall. a problem that. Yeah. And also, it's this is really critical, how your leg and your back feels while you're inverting, then you come back with this position, and then see if that numbness and tingling comes back in your leg. If it does, well, that was doing good on his back, but it's not maintaining. Uh, hopefully it doesn't. And then also is get up and then walk around. And you really know it's, it's really setting in is when the leg feels better when you're in it as well as for the next half hour as you're walking around. If it stays good for two or three hours and it starts to come back, you may want to get back in that inversion table again and do this repeatedly until it gets better. Well, one thing I like is if, if it gives you an hour of relief, that use that time to go for a walk then because right. walking will help also right. help your, your disc heal. Right. Don't, don't walk up a hill though. Don't walk up a hill, well, keep it flat, right. flat surfaces. But if you normally have trouble walking and after you teeter, it goes away, that's a great time. To right, and, and then exactly. Walk so it can be used advantageously. Right. So. I did want to mention they also have a, an adjustable and removable lumbar support, which in the case of a disc problem, you may want to use it. Um, there we go. And that'll support the lumbar that. area. Yeah. Uh, and it's adjustable. You can have it at different levels. Uh, in my case, if I use this, it it's very uncomfortable. I will not use it. It should you, allow you, have you to feel better. Yeah, I got a different uh, you got diagnosis. A, you're on the wrong slot, sir. Oh, no wonder it's a little. Crooked. I'm surprised that didn't bother you, Brad. That's uh, I didn't see that... it. I was kind of <laughs> wondering why it was. Either, there we go. It? There we go. There. I feel so much better. The world's in. It's yeah. in sync, yeah. Yeah, that's in sync. But anyways, uh, that's a nice little option that comes along with this that, you know, you may or may not use. If you use it, you should feel, you know, good comfort with it, okay? Yeah. Bob, you're looking at me funny. I know. I'm, it's time I, to I'm looking at the time. Quiet. Remember, Brad, I can fix just about anything. Except for. Broken heart. There you go, Bob. But we're working on it. Mm.